Hi guys and ladies, my bass fishing lately has been embarrassing. The fish have been small and few in number. Well, let's see if we could rectify that. And I have a buttery recipe in mind that'll go great with bass or any fish we happen to catch. So let's go fishing. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Here is what we can start out with. It's a four inch Yamamoto Senko worm. I simply stuck a circle hook through the middle of it. You can check out the notes under the video to read all about the equipment, the lake, the boat, the recipes, everything. Let's get fishing. I don't believe it. I don't believe this. <laughs> I got a bluegill on that big worm and, and the worm is and the worm is missing. I may regret this, but I'm gonna let him go because I'm after bass. Let's just hope I get enough bass for this recipe. Got one. Small. Well, maybe not. Oh, it's big. Ah, it's a big one. Nice. 14 inches. He's way too big. We've got to release him. You see, the scientists who did the survey of the lake say we're only allowed to keep small bass. There's just too many small ones, and these need to be preserved. No, it's a bluegill. Wow, the bluegill are so big, I, I catch them on bass hooks. Look at that. I'm still throwing them back. I got one. Oh, too small. This is all I've been catching. This is actually too small. This needs to grow. I can't buy a bass today except for like a dozen babies. I don't know what's going on, so let's do this. Two inch plastic rub again. Let's go for bluegill. There you go. Okay, a nice chunky bluegill. There's one. Come out from under the boat. Get your hands up. <laughs> bluegill it is. At least I've got something for the recipe. I don't need many. Oh, that's a big one. We'll have enough for the recipe, I know it. Another one. Oh, this is so easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> big. <laughs> this is so easy. I only wish the bass were so easy. Look at the size on this guy. Oh, I like him. Look 
Look at these crappie. I know they hang around over there by that tree. Oh my goodness. These aren't good for small bodies of water under 20 acres. And this lake is only six, so I'm taking them out. I should never have put them in. Another crappie. Massive crappie. I only needed 12 ounces of fillets for this buttery fish recipe because the rest of it is going to be in shrimp. And look, oh my goodness, I have way more than what I need. <laughs> Let's get in the house and fillet these guys and tomorrow we'll do that buttery recipe. Here it is, the next day, the bass fishing was lousy yesterday, but the bluegill alone produced about 12 ounces of these nice little fish fillets. And I'm gonna combine these with, look, <laughs> 12 ounces of shrimp. Now this should give us a nice meal for two, but right now, let's do a ridiculously easy side dish. You're not gonna learn anything about making a side dish for me today because all I have here is a bag of rice and I'm gonna microwave it. Ah, 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 this is not ordinary rice. This is cauliflower herbed rice, low carb. Let's microwave it. The older I get, the lazier I get. Look how easy that is. I have another no-brainer for you, Tuscan seasoned broccoli. All I have to do is put it in the microwave for six minutes, let's go. An old family recipe handed down through the generations to the jolly green giant. Hey, it looks good. I've got our shrimp all laid out and our fish all laid out and look, melted butter. And guess what I'm going to do again? <laughs> Paint. Let's go. Our shrimp and fish are swimming in melted butter. Now look, I'm gonna add salt and pepper to this. I have here parsley. It's lightly dried parsley, a cross between fresh and dried parsley. Let's just sprinkle it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, now I've got sliced lemons. Look at this, thinly sliced. Let's just put them over everything. It says the fish, put them over everything. Now all I have to do is put this in the oven for, I'm gonna go 15 to 20 minutes until the shrimp are Pink and curly, say the directions. Let's see how that goes. The fish should be done. 425 oven. According to the instructions, the butter is supposed to brown in there and that makes everything yummy. Well, I might as well let you know. I have a special guest coming for dinner tonight. It's the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Uh, I've been trying to win her heart for 52 years now and she's never even mentioned marriage yet. I try to make the best food possible to impress her, but still I'm, I'm not making much progress with her. Could it be my cooking that's the problem? Well, I need to find out. It's been 15 minutes. Let's go. <gasps> I think it's perfect. It looks, oh, oh, it smells so good. And look at it, it looks great. Here we are this evening with our special celebrity guest, the famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for uh, dining with me here tonight at uh, my treacherous, uh, uh, troublesome trailer house. And you had a chance to munch on my brown buttered shrimp and fish, and I'm anxious to hear what you thought of it was very delicious. The shrimp was done exactly as it should be and the fish was very tasty and the sauce, the butter sauce was lovely. Thank you. And how, how did you like my, uh, my cauliflower rice and my uh, 
herbed, uh, what was it? Tus broccoli. Tuscan broccoli. Yes, thank you. they were both very good. I always need more vegetables. Yeah, thank I'm you. I'm definitely going to try those recipes. Thank oh, you. <laughs> thank you. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can call you Lulu now. I made some really good meals for you over the years, in my opinion. Remember the uh, delicious pizza I made uh, this winter? Yes, with toppings of peas and mayo. Mm -hmm. Uh... Well, probably I could have chosen something better. Well, how about the tuna casserole I made? Yeah, with hot foot sauce. Bad call, huh? Uh, can I have a hug? Hi, guys and ladies. My bass fishing lately has been embarrassing. Or any fish we happen to catch. So, let's go fishing. Or any fish we happen to catch.